All, all right. Let's go into the book really quickly. Let's go into the book of Matthew 6.22 really quickly. Remember now, your eyes are an entrance. It's a door and a gate. Remember that. We're going into the book of Matthew. Let me get there. Book of Matthew 6 and 22. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body is the eye. So what you see and perceive controls what is going in. I want you to remember that. Go ahead. If therefore thine eye be single. If your eye be on one particular thing. And your eye is on the eye of Christ Jesus. Your mind is your eye. Absorbing the things of God. Then it's single. Go ahead. Thy whole body shall be full. It'll of life. be full of Jesus. Can your eye be single on some wicked things? Yes. Can your eye be single on some perverted stuff? Yes. Can your eyes be watching porn? Yes. Can your eyes be watching naked folk? Yes. Can your eyes be watching all perversion on the, on the internet. Yes. Then your eye is single in that. And you become darkness. Your whole body becomes dark. Notice what the word is saying. Go ahead. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Notice what the word is saying. If your eye is single on the power of God, then the power of God, in other words, let me break this down. If your mind, your mind, I'll say it this way, your mind, as the Holy Spirit given to me, your mind is your eyes. If your, if your mind is singular on the power of God, Jesus Christ, then your eyes that are looking will be on Christ. Then your eyes will perceive the power of God and your whole body becomes the power of God. But if your eyes, if your mind, that is your eyes, your mind, that is your eyes, look and see evil things, dark things, things of perversion, things of nakedness, Things of masturbation. If your mind perceives and sees these things, then your body becomes dark. Full of darkness. Go ahead. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? It is hell darkness. I want you to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. What kind of darkness is it? It's hell darkness. It's lake of fire darkness. If that's what you want. There's a choice here. Do you see the choice? There's a choice here. Is he the light? Is he the light or dark? Either or. In this last hour, God is sifting his Remnant people in God's light, the power of God. So what do what does your mind perceive? I want you to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, and I want you to listen carefully. What is your mind perceiving? Oh Lord, I know it's wrong, but it feels so good. God, I know it's wrong, but it feels so good. What is your mind looking at? So then whatever you're looking at concerning that matter, your whole body's dark. 
So I want you to remember that. Jesus is teaching. He's given an example of what you can be in and what you can be in as far as darkness. There's a choice. There's a choice you got to make in this last hour. Which choice are you going to make? Remember now, your eyes is an entrance. Remember that your eyes is an entrance. So what you are perceiving, you better know and perceive that, okay, this is evilness. And I don't want to be a part of it. Oh, it feels so good. Forgive me, Lord. I know better. But it feels so good. <laughs> I don't know. The Holy Spirit got me stuck right there. Saints of God. The Holy Spirit got me stuck right there. Oh, it feels so good. And I know it's wrong, Lord. But it feels good. Oh my God. I know it's wrong. But it feels so good. Do you know that you're going to echo those same words in the lake of fire? Do you know that? That same sin that you commit and you didn't get it right, you will be echoing the same. Oh, it feels so good, but I, but I know it's wrong, Lord, in the lake of fire. Many not going to make it because they want to feel good. They want to feel good on this earth. They want to feel good doing earthly things. They want to feel good with the flesh, with perversion, with sex and everything else. They just want to feel good. And those same words that you echo will be in the lake of fire. You will be echoing these same words in the lake of fire. Remember now, your head is a great big door. What you let in is on your behalf. You can let God into the fullest or you can let the devil into the fullest. Which one would you want? Which one do you want? You can't have it all. Some people playing a spiritual Russian roulette. Thinking the same thing I just said. Oh, I know it's wrong, but it feels so good. Boy, the Holy Spirit got your number. And he done dialed it. And he's listening. Oh. It feels so good. But God, I know it was wrong. You know hell. People in hell right now. Do you know people in hell right now are confessing how much wrong they did? They're, they're confessing right as, as I'm teaching and preaching the word of God right now. They're confessing. Oh, it felt so good. But I was wrong, Lord. I was wrong. I should have never done that, Lord. Somebody in this very act listening to my big mouth right now. I pray to God that this prophetic word is tearing your rump up. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying? I hope and pray right now. 
thousands that's listening in the bed right now. Oh, I know it's wrong, but it feels so good. I hope this word is cutting you, cutting everything off you, and you putting your clothes back on right now. 